Hey guys, just doing another video featuring the Tika. Uh, maybe you might notice something a little bit different about it tonight. Uh, it's got a new accessory on it. And if anybody recognizes that logo, you'll see that it's a fucking Night Force NXS. Yes, I, just, I was unhappy with the loophole that I got and uh, I decided, right, so I'm just going to get the best fucking scope that money can buy. So I went and I bought a loop, uh, not a loophole, but a Night Force NXS 8 to 32 by 56, and it is a fucking beast. I just put it on the rifle uh, today or this evening when I got home. Uh, haven't even zeroed it yet. I'm not going to bother until I get the suppressor put on the rifle this Sunday. Uh, just go have a quick close-up look at the rifle now. It's got a sunshade, I'll just take off the sunshade for a second. It's not actually that long. Right, that's it without the sunshade, okay? Uh, there's your side focus parallax knob. Also, that is uh, the illuminated reticle. To turn on the illuminated reticle, you just pull it out like that. Um, the illumination is adjustable. You have to take off this, remove the battery, and uh, operate uh, rheostat to increase or decrease the illumination. Okay, it's obvious enough. These are the tactical turrets. Now let's turn it around like this. And a uh, quarter minute of angle adjustment, 10 minutes of angle per revolution. Uh, on this, you have quarter minute of angle uh, adjustments and it goes all the way around to five minutes of angle and then it starts to count down the other way so you can adjust um, there we go you can adjust five minutes of angle before you go into an overlap and you have to kind of be able to uh, see that or whatever uh, the clicks are very very positive it takes a nice bit of force you could not possibly uh, adjust this accidentally by rubbing it off something uh, in the field. Uh, give 10 minutes of angle. There we go, 9 and 10. And just go back down. As I said, I have not zeroed this yet. Um, then we come to the magnification. The eyepiece and the magnification knot are dependent of each other. So you twist this, you twist the. It's actually easier to twist the magnification knob. And uh, see where the R is. When that R is lined up with the white line, as it is, your um, it's an NP-R2 reticle, and uh, it's not a mill dot. Uh, it's an actual MOA reticle. So each vertical division is two MOA, and each horizontal division is, or each division on the vertical line of the crosshair is um, 2 MOA and each uh, division on the horizontal line of the crosshair is 5 MOA and that uh, is true when you have it set to R so when you put that on R your uh, divisions are actually are at their is it, it's, it's, at the magnification is calibrated to so they're exactly 2 and 5 MOA but if you change it back it's not. I will do put some research into uh, learning what it is at 8 because I'm just going to leave it at 8 for uh, fox hunting because it's uh, pretty much that's pretty much good magnification for that unless I want to go a little bit longer I'll crank it up to 10 or 12 but uh, this magnification now is for up as far as 32 is going to be for uh, long range rabbit shooting maybe out to 400 yards and uh, target shooting out to 600. I'll see if I can get like a view of the reticle for you now I'm going to take off this butt plate thing right here. Now, I have to turn it slightly sideways to do this. Now, that's a pretty decent picture of the reticle. I'll turn on the illumination. You can't really see it that well. Um, yeah. Oh. It's hard to get to get it right on the camera now, to be honest. I can't seem to get it. Oh well, I'll try and show it to you some other time. But that is it. 
So uh, this is not a new scope, this is actually second hand that I got for a steel at 650 euros. Um, I haven't tested it out yet, uh, as soon as I do I'll get back with some data, I might even put the testing up on a video. But uh, until then, over and out. <laughs>